Well, it's good to see folks here for this announcement. I am very sorry that uh, Dr. Rhea Lawson of the Houston Public Library System is not with us this morning. She had uh, car trouble this morning and we decided not to wait for her, unfortunately, but I know she would have really liked to be here. Uh, we're here this morning to announce the City of Houston's next Poet Laureate. A little over uh, two years ago, in conversation with Dr. Lawson, uh, we came up with the idea of naming a Poet Laureate for the City of Houston, and I asked her team, uh, along with my Office of Cultural Affairs and the uh, Houston Arts Alliance, to come up with a mechanism for selecting a Poet Laureate and a, uh, a job description. Uh, not ever having had a Poet Laureate for the City of Houston, we had to really stop and think about what the position would entail and how we could entice someone to do it. Uh, it is a funded position, although, because we thought that was important because we were, we were asking uh, for someone to do a lot of work, but certainly not funded to the extent that it would cause someone to want to do it for uh, the dollars involved, but the, but the symbolism of that was important. And uh, lo and behold, uh, there was a great deal of interest in the position, and we had uh, a lot of applicants. There were some folks who sort of scratched their heads and said, why, why does it matter that we have a Poet Laureate? Why, does, why would we want to? And I would say that because even in today's fast-paced world, or because of today's fast-paced world, Poetry still resonates with people. Uh, also, because Houston Public Library, in conjunction with uh, a local partner, Public Poetry, hosts monthly poetry readings, and uh, they are some of the most uh, popular and well-attended of the library's offerings. Because poetry slams are becoming the hottest thing with young people across the country, and I have uh, I was actually in uh, Washington, D.C. A, a few months ago and happened to be walking through one of the uh, you know, public buildings and in the, in the plaza I saw a couple of hundred young people, late teens, mid-twenties, like, what, what the heck are they doing here? And uh, they spent about three hours in a, in a poetry slam. I wandered back and through a few times and they were, they were delighting in the power of words. And then finally, I would say that it's important to have a Poet Laureate because poetry is passion and emotion, but it's also storytelling. It's connecting with people. It is art, and art should have elements of what I would call an aha moment where you, it causes you to sort of hit the reset button or to look at something in a different way. And uh, for all of those reasons, and because it's just fun, uh, it was decided that we would have a Poet Laureate and uh, the, the process unfolded. This year we received nine applications for this two-year appointment from a very diverse and uh, talented group of folks. And from that group, we have chosen Dr. Robin Davidson, Associate Profe Professor of English at the University of Houston downtown, as the City of Houston's next Poet Laureate. Dr. Davidson holds a BA in French from the University of Texas at Austin, and an MA and PhD, an MA and PhD degrees in creative writing and literature from the University of Houston. She's the author of several works, including Luminous Other, a collection that won the 2012 Richard Snyder Memorial Prize. She's also the recipient of a 2009 National Endowment for the Arts Literature Fellowship in Translation and a Houston Arts Alliance Individual Artist Grant for her poetry that same year. In addition to her writing and teaching, Dr. Robinson serves as the faculty advisor for UHD's Literary and Visual Arts Magazine and is very active in the local and literary community where among many other activities, she's worked with local schools and students 
as part of Writers in the Schools, where she also served as the president of its board of directors. Please join me in welcoming and congratulating Houston's new poet laureate, Dr. Robin Davidson. Thank you. 